morning and welcome thank you mrs h and welcome to the midweek shave to the wednesday shave how are you doing <laughs> doing well right um somebody said in the comments uh, don't see you using the badger brush much um i do like them and the ball brushes that's all i used at one point then i had synthetics which i really enjoy but um, on that note, I thought I'd use the Omega Badger brush. Pure Badger, that's called. And I haven't used this for a while. This is the Arco. It's blooming in the bottom there, just with some um, water. This is the Big Shave Scuttle. Um, so I'm going to, well, just rinse the face. And then I'm going to use that water as a bit of a pre-shave. So how are you doing, all right? How's the morning going for you? Well, it's early yet, as much depends when you watch this. But, um, so bear with me. Ah, cold soap. I find, always found bloom in this, works really nicely. Make sure there's no, it's okay. So there we go, a wet brush but not dripping. And we'll make a start and straight away it'll, it'll froth up like a nice morning coffee. But we need more than that. We need a creamy. There you go. It won't be long. It's, it's quite cold out, but it's nothing, nothing major as yet. Well, it feels warm in here, obviously, but um, it won't be long. I'll be using probably hot water in this, and look at that. It doesn't take long. That puck isn't stuck at the bottom. It usually is. I'm trying to. There you go. Yeah, it doesn't take long, this. Good old badger as well. Had this for years now. That's more than enough for now. Now, that's that done. The razor is going to be a Parker 22R. And it's this gunmetal finish. Quite a weight to it, nicely balanced around there. Twist to open, non-adjustable. Um, it's got one of these Supranox Bolzano blades, brand new. And the twist to open on this, the head, is similar to that new Wilkinson Sword Classic. That type of quality. So if you own one of these, I've said this before maybe, it's a similar quality. Nothing wrong with it, good. Overhang, yes there is. You can hear it probably. Do be careful, non-adjustable, sort of a mild to mid aggression. So here we go, let's uh, lather up the old arco. Look at that, perfect. Yeah, we're certainly into winter now, getting the old well, just below frost uh, yesterday morning when I looked out. I haven't looked out yet. But um, just below a frost. And then I like that though, especially if you're going out, if you're walking, or if you're beautiful. Right. Just doing that so I can see where I am. Okay. Let's heat the old razor up. What are you shaving with today? Or are you not bothering? <laughs> Is it one of your in-between days? So here we go. I'll tell you what, we'll start here. Good audio feedback. Oh, 
very slick, wow. Razor's almost sliding over that then. That's a nice blade that. Habit, see, I always do this twist, twist to keep it tight in case. And the aggression is sort of mid to mild to mid for me with this blade. Really nice. That didn't take long, did it? Make sure it's... Yeah, that's okay. Just a spot of water, see what we do with that. And I think another, as with many hard puck soaps, whether it's in the stick form or in the sort of puck form like this, uh, obviously the probably the same soap, well it is the same soap, but um, depends on your water. Some people say, oh, I can't get a lather like that. Um, I suppose it depends on your water really. And I've said this before, maybe it's worth trying. I know it's a lot of effort maybe, but try bottled water. Um, if you want to heat it up, you know, in a pan or in a kettle or whatever. And just see that, boil it till it's sort of warm. And try lathering with that. Then if it does lather up, you'll know it is your tap water. I was going to go here then, because I had a loose hair. Have I? Oh no, it might have been one of the brush hairs. <laughs> I thought it was straggling hair because sometimes I'll use a blade just there. If it's, um, if I've got any stragglers, but no, we're okay, right. <laughs> Shaving eyebrows as well, yeah? right, across the growth. Still not minding the The door knocker, the Van Dyke. Really nice sort of relaxing shave and sometimes you think it's a bit more effort in the week maybe to lather up from a puck and you think oh I can't be bothered with that. I'll use a cream I'm going to work or whatever. But as you can see if you just soak it while you're in the shower maybe or Lovely slickness. 
beautiful slickness. I can just use water, you see, look. I think it looks better when you've shaved. And I feel better because I have shaved, so I'm getting my f sort of fix. <laughs> I'm not sure I could grow a beard like this. Uh, mm, be difficult, I think. Right, second pass. On to the third, we'll gather a bit more. There you go. Lovely brush. Um, lovely and soft and as many of the bores and badges they get even softer with use which suits me because I'm soft <laughs> there you go that t-shirt t-shirt <laughs> take two that t-shirt looks rather clean oh for this I was going to say spoke too soon then. okay clean razor Tight, yeah. Third against the growth now. growth is here. Listen to that, beautiful. Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm, I'm, I'm just in, you know, you're in that moment. You know? <laughs> right. Very nice. Wow, good slickness. Right. What time is it? Arco, pick up the wagon. We're getting it wrong here. <laughs> Take three. I leave the leave these mis oh, splashed you. Sorry, leave the mistakes in. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. I go pick up time. Getting ahead of myself, trying to be too clever, you see. And I'm not clever enough to be well clever. Lovely. Look at that. Proper old-fashioned lather. Lava. People asking about his lordship, he's doing very well. He's away again. Won't be back till Christmas, I think. He said, You stay away from my pheasants, would you? I said, I'm only looking after them, making sure they're there. Yes.
feel really nice because it's like a mildish, nice blade that, Supranox, uh, the Bolzano. New blade and there's no sort of, sort of tuckiness with it being too sharp. Really nice off the word go, off the bat. That's lovely, wow. Oof, that is nice. Ooh, missed a bit there. That's lovely. Right, rinse. Not much of a scent really to, oh, leave the face wet, leave the face wet, we're using the alum today. Good lucky. Alum. Hear that? That means there's a bit missed. It's enough wetness on the face for this. Put some in the beard as well. One oh, army. No, Rinse, there we go. No slickness now, isn't that? Okay. Beautiful lilies and roses. Oh. Beautiful. What is it? <laughs> okay. And then what I thought we'd use today, Aqua Velva. Ice blue, cooling aftershave, firms and tones. Beautiful. The scent always reminds me of the brute era. Oh yeah, come on, come on. Beautiful. And then moisture back. Nivea Originals. Can't be taking it. It's a very liquidy. You don't need a lot into warm palms. Oh, it's a nice mixture. Nice, I can tell so away. I think this is more important. In the cold weather, good moisture cream. That's a nice scent combination. That's beautiful. So just to recap before I let you go, we've used the Parker 22R gunmetal um, razor, twist to open, non-adjustable for myself with that blade in it. We've used this uh, Bolzano Supranox or Supranox Bolzano, brand new. Uh, and this particular shave, mild to mid aggression. If I had a feather in that, it'd probably be towards mid aggression. Um, twist to open, good razor. You have to make sure though, especially I find with this one and maybe another one, you have to just keep, well I do it anyway with each one, any twist to open, just have a habit, good habit to get into. Just every, do a couple of passes, twist, just twist. You don't see it off camera maybe, but just always making sure it's tight. Because if that did get loose, oof, be like you've had a fight with a cat. Then we've, <laughs> which is quite apt in this house. The big shave scuttle with the Arco puck, oops, puck in it. And that, thank you, things move in this place. Uh, that puck lives in the scuttle, so I'll rinse this out and let it dry naturally. 
Um, no damage to the brush as it dropped. Omega 100% uh, pure badger brush. I've set the blade. Now we've um, we used the alum, alum block. Now we've used aqua velva ice or classic ice blue, beautiful scent, old fashioned sort of brute type scent. A bit nicer actually, I think. Um, and then uh, Nivea Originals. Absolutely. I can't argue with that. Are we level? Because sometimes I look back at this and think, God, it looks a bit. But it's okay. You see, it looks a bit here longer. But it's not. It's okay. I'm not after perfection. And <laughs> so that's it. Midweek shave. I'll let you get on with it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Good shaves and um, good health as well. So thanks again for all your support for watching these uh, mad half hours, whatever they are. Uh, I love making them. I love shaving. So this is a bit of both. Good cause. Going to donate to the prostate cancer at the end of this month, beginning of December. And uh, that'll help if, if if everybody did a bit, it would help. Um, and that's it, so I'll leave you to it. Have a great week, great shaves, and take care of yourselves. And I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. Take care. Over and out. <laughs>